Hello traders, Steve Ribble with Shrink My Taxes, bringing you a quick video on mark to market accounting. At this time of year, one of the biggest questions that I tend to get is should a trader make the switch to mark to market? Now there's no cut and dry answer here because every trader has different circumstances. So what I thought I would do is put together this video to help you make a more informed decision. First of all, what is mark to market? This deals with the Internal Revenue Code Section 475F. This is an actual change of accounting method. You elect mark to market, you're moving from a cash basis trader, which is taxed as capital gains and losses, to a mark to market trader, being taxed as ordinary gains and ordinary losses. So what's the big deal? Well, here's the benefits. Ordinary losses can get deducted in full against any type of income on your tax return. This includes any wages from W-2s that you may have or your spouse may have. If you have a capital loss, it can only offset capital gains. So that's a huge benefit from mark to market. If you do generate a, a net operating loss from mark to market, those can be carried back two years for immediate tax returns, and then you can carry them forward up to 20 years until they are used up. Another key benefit for mark to market traders is that you're not subject to wash sale rules. So if you trade stocks or options and tend to trade a lot of the same equity, uh, you, you've probably come across wash sales and been restricted by taking those losses in prior tax returns. If you're a mark to market trader, you don't have to worry about that. So let's look at the two side by side. We've got a trader with the cash method and we have a trader that elected mark to market. One of the things I want to uh, point out here is that if you're a trader in your, your uh, short term, which most of you are, your gains are taxed as ordinary income. Underneath mark to market, your gains are also taxed as ordinary income. So understand off the bat, that there is no difference in taxes when you make money under e each method. The benefit, though, is coming in the losses, where your losses are limited to being able to take $3,000 capital loss on your tax return, but losses under mark-to-market can be taken in full to the extent that you've got income to offset that loss. You cannot carry back a loss as a cash, base th cash basis a trader, but you can carry back that loss under mark-to-market. So let's put some numbers on this. Let's say the two traders that we just looked at had $20,000 losses. They also had $100,000 taxable W-2 income on their tax returns, whether it was from them or their spouse. You're able to take that $3,000 loss uh, as a cash basis trader, making your adjusted gross income $97,000. That mark-to-market trader can take that entire $20,000 loss against that $100,000 income, giving them adjusted gross income of $80,000. The taxes due for that cash basis trader, 18258 The mark-to-market trader, $13,258. That's a $5,000 tax savings due to the extent that they're able to take that loss in the year that it was generated. So what can I tell you about mark to market? It may or may not make sense for you. Uh, what I would encourage you to do is if you've got questions on this is seek the help of a professional. If you make a mistake or if you file it late, you can lose the benefits of mark to market and if you've already filed your tax return with it and they revoke it, there's penalties and interest assessed by the IRS. So please seek out professional help when determining if mark to market is going to be right for you. If you have any questions, we offer a free half hour consultation. You can email us uh, at info at shrinkmytaxes.com and we'll set up a time to get together and go through your particular situation to see if this is right for you.